The Standard Group's digital team has developed a tool that might assist you if in doubt or if you're thinking uh, that you may be suffering from COVID-19. And we'll just put that on the screen for you now. Uh, if you go to the Standard uh, Media uh, website, and, and I welcome uh, Carol Kimutai, the Managing Editor uh, Digital, to take us through this particular tool. Now, when you go to the Standard Group's website, you will find um, on, on our page on coronavirus updates, we have this self-risk self assessment test that will be able to guide you on what to do next. So we want to actually take you through this particular uh, tool so that uh, you may have a bit of an understanding of how to, to use it. It may be useful at home just to be able to filter out and at the end of it will show you uh, what you need to know. Now, um, this particular tool, Carol, what, what prompted you to actually develop this tool before we just run through it? Yes, thank you, Dr. Masi. Now, we realized on the website a lot of traffic was coming from search. People are wondering what are the symptoms of coronavirus. And you're a doctor, so you would know that everyone who is having a sneeze, a cough, anything thinks they're having COVID-19. So we, of course, we sat with you and we looked at all the symptoms that the ministry is talking about, mm -hmm. and we created a list of things and made it into something fun that you can do at home, that you can diagnose, and you can be able to be told whether you're high risk, moderate, or low risk. Okay, yeah. let's try it out and see. All so right. you will, I will ask the questions, yes. you will give the answers. Yes. So are you sneezing and having a dry cough? Yes, I'm sneezing and having a dry cough. Do you have nasal congestion and a runny nose? No. No. Are you having diarrhea? No. No. Uh-huh. No. Okay. Are you having a sore throat? No. No. Are you having body aches? No. No. Are you having a headache? No. No. Do you have a fever, chills, or sweating? No. No. Are you having difficulty breathing or experiencing shortness of breath? No. No. Are you experiencing fatigue? No. No. Have you traveled recently during the past 14 days? No. No history of travel. Do you have a travel history to a COVID-19 infected area? No. No history. Are you have, do you have direct contact with or are you taking care of a positive COVID-19 patient? No. That's a no. And there goes your results if you actually did this. And we actually give you a bit of what you need to do when you're at low risk. So one, avoid crowds and maintain a physical distance of one meter or two or three steps from people. As you can see, we are trying to maintain that physical uh, distance. distance. Avoid shaking hands, hugging, or kissing people with flu-like symptoms. And then we have a rider here where we ask you uh, to call 719, that is the Ministry of Health's helpline, or star 719 for more information. And you can also contact the Ministry of Health teams uh, through the numbers that we've put there. Those are the, those are the Ministry of Health numbers uh, in order to know what to do next. So this is a simple way of being able to, you know, uh, filter out and see where you stand in this risk assessment. So let's try another one um, again on this uh, same risk assessment. So we go back to the home page. We go back to the home page. Home page. Okay, this, this actually is not the one. Okay, so I, I think we're having trouble be accessing the home page so that we could have taken you through uh, the next step, which would have actually uh, shown you in case you're at high risk. Yes. And this is the home page where this, the self-assessment. So we'll run through this in case, uh, in case you're at high risk, you'll see what will happen. So are you sneezing and having a dry cough? Yes. Yes. Uh, do you have nasal congestion and a runny nose? Yes. Yes. Are you having diarrhea? No. No. Are you having a sore throat? Yes. Yes. Are you having body aches? Yes. Yes. Are you having a headache? No. No. Do you have a fever, chills, or sweating? Yes. Yes. Um, are you having difficulty breathing or experiencing shortness of breath? Yes. Yes. 
Are you experiencing fatigue? Yes. Yes. Have you traveled recently during the past 14 days? No. No. Do you have a travel history to a COVID-19 infected affected area? No. No. Do you have a direct contact with or are you taking care of a positive COVID-19 patient? Yes. Yes. That means you shouldn't even be here. <laughs> so anyway, that comes out as high right. risk. Yeah. Uh, if, you've ans if, you're if any of the symptoms are positive, then you're high risk. And the recommendation here is stay in a separate room and use a separate bathroom if available to avoid transmission of the virus to friends and family. And then again, we direct you to the Ministry of Health helpline so that they are able to guide you on what you need to do next. So this is a simple tool developed by the Standard Group team so that it, you are able to know um, what to do in case you have any symptoms of COVID-19 or if you are at risk of having come in contact with somebody with COVID-19. So this is just a simple test. We realize that many people are panicking or are worried. They don't know what to do. So this may actually help you in uh, addressing that. Now, let's shift borders 